All right. Welcome to your Algebra 1 review for your Semester 1 final in December. Uh, just as a reminder, if you see this problem, you're in the right spot. It might not actually be problem 12 on your review, but it's still relevant as long as it's on your paper somewhere. I'm partial to this problem because it talks about soccer, and I'm a big soccer fan. So let's see where this is taking us. Soccer club president is planning to order shirts for each of the club's 15 members. It will cost $45 for the design to be created, and then and an additional cost for actually each shirt. The cost of each shirt varies depending on the type of shirt chosen with the prices shown below. So we have 15 people, $45 just for the design, nothing too bad here. Um, the club president must order the same type of shirt for all members and cannot spend more than $135. Based on this info, so let's see, our max amount of money is $135. Based on this information, which types of shirts can the club presidents choose to purchase? Um, there's any number of ways to do this. I'm going to give you, we'll say, the real way first, the algebraic way, and then we can talk about some guess and check. The idea behind this is we have $45 to, that we know we have to spend on the design. That's only going to happen once. It's not $45 per shirt. 45 times 15 is already too far over our budget. And then we're going to add on some cost, right? some cost per each shirt. It could be $3 per shirt, $6 per shirt, $9 per shirt, but we need to do this cost times the number of people. So maybe we can think of times 15 people. And when we do that, we cannot exceed $135. The way we show that is, yes, we could exactly equal 135, but we don't have to. As a club, you might want to save that money for something else. So we would say that our, that our, our Aaron our answer needs to be less than 135 or it could be equal. How does that help? Well, cost, maybe we'll think of that as just a variable for now. Maybe we'll call it C. This is just an inequality we can solve. We have 45 that's adding to C and we have 15 that's multiplying. SADMAP says undo the 45 first. Right, so if I subtract 45 off of each side, let's see what we end up with. I think this will give us 15 times C is less than or equal to, ooh, that's looking like 90, I think, 9 and 4 is, yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then we need to actually continue getting C by itself. We divide by 15, and we end up with, hmm, how many times does 15 go into 90? 15 times 2 is 30, and 3 30s is 90. 3 times 2, I think that gives us 6 right here. So, and I put in equals, probably should not have put in equals, we're going to keep our less than or equal. This tells us that the cost they're allowed to use has to be less than or equal to $6. If the cost is exactly 6 they'll spend all $135. If it's less than that, they'll spend less than 135 So that's not too bad. We just look at each of our costs that are less than $6. That's these three. And so that ends up, I think, looking at D. The other way, of course, to do this problem is just to start guessing and checking. We could take, let's say, the sweatshirt first. You're like, ooh, let's see if they can do the sweatshirt. You're like, they have to do $45, and they have to do nine, or they have to do 15 of those $9 sweaters. And when you do the math here, 9 times 15, that's 45, 135, that ends up becoming 180. That's way too much money. They said they can only spend 135. So you don't need to write an equation. You can just start guessing and checking, adding all of these up and seeing if they break the 135. Either way though, you should end up with D as your answer.